Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the light shine through? guys it's me brandy here and i hope you enjoyed that little cinematic it was of our monthly pull function with the plc program now to get into today's topic which is is cal maritime hard to get into what do you guys do you guys think cal maritime is hard to get into or uh yeah uh it really depends on what major like obviously for npm which are like the business and the global studies it's a lot easier but for the deckies or the marine transportation and then engineering that's more like academically straining, so it is harder to get into. What do you think, Scott? Yeah, I, I second that because they need a certain number. They only accept a certain number of M MTs or, or mechanical engineers and stuff like that. Obviously, some are going to mm -hmm. deny, but they only certain accept a certain amount of applications. Meanwhile, like NPM, which is the business and globals, they tend to accept pretty much almost every application as long as they meet the criteria. Um, but that being said, you know it's. It's, it's a little, it could be a little challenging, is probably my, my overall opinion on that one. Alright, so if, if you're in high school and you're trying to like see where your scores are at and everything, when we were applying for school, it, the, the SAT was out of 2400 and then like the ACT, it's, it's, the ACT is still the same, I believe. Yeah. Um, so my SAT score coming in, which was three years ago, uh, was a... Oh, my SAT was bad. My S SAT was like a 1600, but my ACT was, I think I got like a 27. So I think if you have, I think a 27 ACT score at that time was like equivalent to like a, an 1850 or something like that. So that, that helped boost my uh, application up, I guess. What, what, did, what did you guys get for score wise? Whoever wants to go first. Wait, did he even take the SAT? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, so the way I did it, um, I took the SAT first. I was planning on taking both, but then the idea was whatever, which one I get on, better on, I'll stick to that. So, yeah. SAT I took, and I got like, ooh, like a 1,300, 1,200 <laughs> or something out of 24. <laughs> so, um, that's with zero prep. And then, um, okay, so uh, what was your best SAT? So, anyway, going into, that was my best SAT. That was my only SAT. So, I stuck to ACT, as you may imagine. I ended up with around, a, ooh, I think it was a 30. Um, uh, that's pretty good. Oh, yeah, shit. I wasn't that bad on the Woo! ACT. Damn. Um, but unfortunately, I I think I got a 27 that like I submitted to this application because of the time discrepancy of my best S ACT compared to the application of this. But mm -hmm. I went into that. Do you want me GPA too, or, or is that another question? Uh, that, that, we'll go into that. What did okay. you get that's on your it. testing yeah, score? So I also got like a 1650, which it's an average. It's not bad, but yeah, like it wasn't that good. Like, I didn't really care because I knew I was going to go to some kind of uh, CSU, so I, was, I wasn't tripping too hard. But, yeah. All right. Uh, moving into, like, Scott, like, kind of pushed into it. So the next thing is your GPA. Uh, my GPA coming in, I think, well, A, first off, I screwed up junior year of high school. But coming in to freshman year, I was at a 3.2, I want to say. I think I was at a 3.2 GPA. What, what were you guys at? You, you were like at a 2.4. Yeah. No? no, not that bad. Um, I think coming in, my high school GPA was, I want to say like a, a 2.8, but, you know, I think, yeah, so it wasn't the best, but first of all, I got into the school, and Seriously. my senior year, definitely, I blew that one off, and junior year, like Brian, I, I screwed up on, so, you know, I, I had my issues, but overall, that, that I think it was like a 2.8, something like that, that I got into, so. What about you? What was your g -pa? Yeah, my GPA was probably like a three point. Like I remember it was like three point zero zero like two, because I had like a C in Spanish. I we suck. I had a C in math. But no, we kind of do. 
Yeah, like, I just had, like, a 3.0 flat, whatever. Yeah, so, now, when we when we came, of course, there, there's other things you need to consider. There's your resume, there's, like, all your extracurricular activities, your sports, or whatever, whatever, like, if you have leadership experience, whatever, whatever you got there. Um, when we came in to freshman orientation week, I don't know if you guys remember this, but we were sitting in RZA, and, um, they were saying, like, for every one of you... Like sitting here, like every seat, there were five people considered, or like five students. Oh, was it? No, I was in RZA. Two years ago. Stupid. Two years ago. Um, but yeah, so they, they were saying that for every seat, there was five people considered for that spot. So they were, they were saying, like, from when I was going through it, I was like, geez, this place was kind of competitive. And I, I don't know, it... It brought me off, or like it threw me off because like I I, I didn't really see it as that. I don't know, but again, I, so my story is that I came in to Cal Maritime as an ME or mechanical engineering major, which has like impacted classes and all that stuff. So I, I came into like a more quote unquote competitive major at that time, and then I, and then I switched over and whatnot. But these guys, they, they went in straight to NPM, so I don't know, like, how, again, quote-unquote competitive it was for them to get their spot. But from my, or what I remember, it came, the school came off as pretty competitive. Would you guys say it is, the, is it the same? Like, you guys technically fought for your spot here, or what do you guys think? So, well, okay, so for the story that Brian said, like, the one where it's like, oh, for every seat that's been taken, like, five people applied for it. And like, I really, like me personally, I don't know if it's true, but I think that that competitiveness is only in Decky and MP or Decky and engineering, because that's literally what the school was, like for the past like, what eight yeah, years, seven thousand years. Yeah. So then, like we MPM, which like remember is the business and global, has only been here for like less than ten years. So, that's that's the like the major that. The two majors that made this school a lot bigger, so in a way, the competition really isn't for MPM. It's just for MEs and Deckies. Yeah, and I'll definitely second what Cerizo said because I originally applied for MT, which is Marine Transportation, and I got rejected. And at that point, if I got rejected, since I got rejected, I was like, uh oh, because I, I didn't get any accepted any other college. And the, well, I did, but that's another story. Um, so I was like, it was basically like I reapply or I don't go to college. So I reapplied on the MPM for, for Global Studies and I filled out a whole new application and everything. And then like around a week later, I got an acceptance letter to the school. And that was after the fact that they sent out acceptance letters and um, letters saying you didn't make it in. So I definitely think that that being the one in five type deal is for impacted majors such as uh, marine transportation and mechanical engineering because I got accepted into GSMA. Not saying it's an easy major to get into, it might be a little more difficult now because it's getting more known and more people are coming in. So things might have changed since the last time we ex um, came in because I, rem I, I remember when we were freshmen they were actually hurting for people in the GSMA department. But now it's changed. I'm, pr I'm pretty agree. positive, yeah. So, okay. yeah. so I, I guess overall um, depending on who you are, and, and of course, like, all your grades and your extracurriculars, your resume and all that stuff, um, Cal Maritime, it's not that hard to get into, like, overall. Again, I came in as an ME major with a 3.2 GPA with just basically swimming and, like, military interest, like, interest, like, I put out, um... You know, and the, these two, I mean, they, they, they told you their story. It, would you guys say it's not that hard to get into, right? Uh, yeah, my grades kind of fell, but I had a lot of extracurriculars and, a, like, a decent work ethic because I, I fill it on the application. But, yeah. Yeah. So, so that's what I think carried me. Is the so that that is the uh, our, that is our overall answer to is Cal Maritime hard to get into. That question has been uh, shown up. To me a couple times so i hope this video answered your question if you guys have any other questions uh put them in the comment section below if you're not a part of our little family here hit that subscribe button for more and we will catch you guys next time
Peace.